Hey there, it's Mitch from Keeping the Vows, and i uh, been doing some woodworking lately, so I haven't been doing too, that many videos, but I'm going to get back at it. Anyway, uh, making some cutting boards, and uh, this is what I'm working on right now. So, that's one of them. That's one style. This is another style. And uh, as you do that, as you make these, you have to glue all these boards together. And as you glue them all together, like this, um, there's an interesting fact that a lot of you don't know. Do you know that you can take and glue two pieces of wood together, and if it's done properly, if you, if you prepared it right and you glued it right, do you know that if you try and break it, it will not break at the glue? It will break at the wood. Let's just see if it will. Okay, there we go. Did not break. The joint's clear down here. Let's try it again. If I can break it. I can't even break it. Anyway, if it's going to break, it's going to break at the, in the wood. It's not going to break at the glue. And I was thinking about that, and everything I do, I try to relate it to marriage. And I was thinking, what's the glue that holds your marriage together? What's the glue? And as Christians, our glue should be God. And so if our marriage lets go, that's because, it's not because God let go, because God won't let go. If our marriage lets go, it's because there was something in one of us that caused it. And it's easy to say, yes, I'm a Christian, but is Jesus really the Lord of your life? That's what I'm asking you today. Is Jesus the glue that's holding your marriage together? If he is, you're set for life as long as you continue to do that. But if you're having a lot of problems, ask yourself, is Jesus really the Lord of my life? Am I really, really searching out and trying to live my life according to him? Hey, I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.